The other thing we all love to do during the holidays is drink. So <laughs> drinking has an immediate effect, which can cause a little gastritis, can cause a little irritation in the stomach, and the dreaded hangover as people get worried about. What can I do to prevent a hangover the next water, day? Water, 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 right? So hydration is more than 50% of it. So alcohol is a diuretic. It causes us to lose a lot of fluid in the urine. But the other thing people don't realize is there are these chemical compounds called congeners which are normal byproducts of the fermentation process. Hmm. So darker alcohol. So we have examples of red wine, uh, scotch, and whiskey and bourbon. These alcohols will have higher levels of congener. So this is actually more likely to cause hangovers the what following day. What is a day. congener? So things like mannitol, acetaldehyde, these are normal chemicals that occur and exist in alcohol as a process, a part of the process of fermentation. I see. So clearer liquors like gin and vodka, for instance, are less likely to have these compounds and less likely, therefore, to cause hangovers. Huh. So when you think about hangovers, how can you prevent it? Number one is go for the clear liquor. Second is drink a glass of water for every alcoholic glass of beverage you have and those two things are going to go a long way the third thing you can do you're going to I'm going to ask for your help is to make sure you have something in your stomach some carbohydrate rich meal to help absorb the alcohol so what you're going to do is demonstrate by pouring this into an empty stomach the alcohol which is going to get absorbed very quickly into the body if you have no food in your stomach your blood alcohol level is going to spike this is a demonstration if you have two pieces of bread in your stomach and you drink alcohol, even if you're drinking, this is quite a quick drink here, you're gonna see that this is, a, this is actually gonna get soaked up by the bread. And what's gonna happen is this alcohol is now gonna be released into your system, into your blood, at a much rate. slower rate. Right. So in general, nobody should be drinking alcohol this quickly, but if you take sips and you have food in your stomach, you're less likely to have issues down the road. But water, water, water. Water's key. Water, now, water, water. Just like overeating, some of us may overindulge in alcohol during the holidays, so what can we do after the fact? So eggs are a great next day breakfast meal. Not greasy eggs, but something nice and dry. Eggs contain something called cysteine. Cysteine actually can help counteract the effects of congeners on headaches and other things like that that cause hangovers. So, so eat eggs a high are protein uh, breakfast. The next high day. protein, especially with eggs, is great. Potassium, we keep coming back to potassium to replete electrolytes, dry toast. You want to avoid, people feel like I have to eat greasy foods. No. It's actually the wrong it's the, idea. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Right? So, right. dry toast and eggs, a banana is a perfect post meal, post uh, alcoholic uh, right. beverage. And then electrolyte drinks. If really that bad, you want to have some electrolyte sports drinks.